Hi and welcome to my playhouse and last time in unsolved server mysteries we figured out that this awesome IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model 1 will only work with 56 gigabytes of memory the paperwork says 48 but the reality is that I can put in two 4 gigabyte blocks as well and that will also work and it boots ESXi 6.5 Awesome, but I have been deceitful. I've been hiding things from you. One of them is that I have totally forgotten the password for this ESXi 6.5, so I can't get in and have to shut the server off to turn it off. There's nothing on that server, it doesn't matter, but um, yeah, not much fun having a server that you can't get into. So uh, I'm gonna try and install something else on that today. So. Um, I have downloaded something on this um, 128 gigabyte USB stick which I hope we're gonna try and install. Uh, the server is out right now, it's just outside of view because I wanted to make sure that it was working with that RAM, which it is, uh, before I put the cover on. So just before I cover it up, uh, we'll just have a little look at it. This one is booting from this uh, PCI Express port with an M.2. SSD on there and that's connected here down to the system board right there so um, yeah it's a special thing it has two good CPUs and it has the, those 56 gigabytes of memory so yeah I'll put the cover on and stuff it back into the rack That is an extremely well-built server. If it hadn't been because of old age, it would still be awesome. So, oh, I've bended my USB stick yet. But let's see if it doesn't pop in there. Oh, it, it might help to put it in the right way. And we need to boot the server because I've forgotten the password. There, it's off. I might run into trouble because this is a USB 3 and this server is from back when USB 1 was the latest and the greatest. Actually, it's, it's pretty amazing that this server had USB ports at all. It was very early to adopt those. So to pick your boot device on this uh, X3650 Model 1, you will get some keys here. And there is for the BIOS and there is for the boot menu and I believe there is also for the diagnostics and F12 and I didn't make it Let's try that again so here we get the splash screen Intel x 5460s and these are 3.16 gigahertz and to get into the boot menu or the boot options we have to press F12 when it pops up right there F12 Boot uh, user selection device means that, well, I get to pick what we boot from. And from the last video, I still haven't uh, haven't missed any more with this array thing. Uh, still need to figure that out, what's going on with those drives, but never mind. We have that 256 gigabyte M.2 SSD that we are going to be able to, uh, to boot from. So we don't need those one terabyte SAS drives in front of the server. Yeah, it um, failed big time. And here we get to select our boot device. And there is a USB key down here. And it sees my USB key, so we're selecting that. And boot this time only. Oh, we need to go down and yes, and we should boot. I have a boot manager on that USB stick, so I can just put ISO files on there and I'll get this menu here uh, from what I want to install. And it's the, it's the top one that I want to install. And that is uh, Windows Server 2022, that should be. So um, 
let's try that one. See if it, uh, if it, oh, it loads. So far, so good. I have not installed this on anything before, so we're gonna we're gonna do this together and see what kind of issues we run into. First issue is a lens flare from hell in the screen. That's better. Yeah. If you ever miss a USB 1.1, oh, yeah, that's uh, no, not today. This takes forever. Okay, quarter of a century later, we are here. It wants us to uh, select. I uh, have selected uh, language English, time zone and currency Danish, and keyboard is English. It's an English keyboard or US. Um, so we're gonna try that. Go next. Yes, that's the general idea we want to install now. There. Oh, this looks exactly like Server 2019, so it's very simple. But it does say Windows Server 2022. And we can pick the standard version uh, or the data center version. I, um, I don't see a need to uh, select the data center version. The data center version you would select if you were in need of those extra few functions that you get with the data center version together with some licensing but well we don't need to uh, we don't need that to try this out so uh, but i am gonna go with the desktop experience because i like my desktop so let's go next on that there and we have to agree with the licensing otherwise this will be a very short video so we can upgrade or we can we don't have anything to upgrade from so we will need to, to do an installation here and it sees a whole lot of drives we need to delete some of that because um, that's a mess it seems that I've been lying again and deceiving you looks like this is only 64 gigabyte ish and not 256 gigabyte I hope you don't hate me for it, but, um, but well, I should have asked you for a like on this video before this happened. Now I'm never gonna get it. So let's try new, apply, and yes, yes. See if it will do that for us. Yes, and we'll select that one. And okay. This part on a USB 1 is gonna take forever and ever. So um, yeah, I'll get back when this is done. Oops, I didn't get it. It uh, completed without me. But um, yeah, now it's gonna boot uh, Windows Server 2022 for the first time. It should go faster than, than they installed. Oh, it failed. Let's check that out. So, finally a bit of progress on this. Um, I have saved you from a lot of reinstalling and trying again, doing all kind of weird stuff. Um, let's, um, let's tell you what worked. So, we were booting from that internal SSD. We are not doing that now. Now we are booting from this SAS drive just one of them and that is working I could not get it to um, to work with that internal M.2 SSD but this looks promising finalizing the installation here giving it a password there we are and it looks like anything else that we have seen before It seems very slow. Uh, it's still in beta. I know that. But what's it doing right now? It's it's working on the hard drive. I can see that. Those. Now 
nice. I don't know anything about server 2022 yet. I would also have to plug in a network cable for it to, uh, to pr perform some updates or something like that. So, but the entire day has come and gone. So this video was going to be about server 2022, but it ended up being about everything else than server 2022. I tried multiple stuff that you didn't see. I tried, uh, well, I changed the USB stick to a USB 2, didn't help any. I tried and installed Server 2019 on there, uh, and then the plan was to upgrade to Server 2022, but it made exactly the same error with Server 2019 as with Server 2022. So that was kind of where I, it, it, the light went up for me and I thought, this has nothing to do with server 2022 it has something to do with the hardware and that was where i popped in the hard drive instead of booting from that m.2 ssd inside of the server it does seem to be related with that probably some driver that is missing somewhere and yeah that's really unfortunate weirdly enough the installation sees it just fine but when it boots it holes maybe it's just that doubtful king spec ssd in there who knows but yeah this took all day kind of irritating i i'm not lying i started this at about okay all day and all day i think i started this eight o'clock this morning and it's now <sighs> eight o'clock at night so uh, i let you skip a lot of frustrations but uh, yeah it, this was irritating I am um, gonna be messing around a little bit with server 2022 figure out if this is something that I like I don't think I have a choice I'm gonna go in that route but well might as well get used to it as they say so um, yeah what do I need to ask you today would you please go follow me on my social media on Twitter or Facebook would be nice also I do Patreon videos every Sunday, today is a Sunday, so I have to do a WhatsApp video and let the good people of Patreon know what's going on. And uh, yeah, this uh, video is probably gonna go out when I'm on vacation and well, Patreons know where I am and, and they're kind of brought along. I'll probably do some videos from my vacation location and post those later, but well, Patreons get them live every Sunday so um, but if you would like to be part of that rather larger group I have been very lucky I have a lot of patrons and um, I think that's awesome thank you do go and check me out over on patreon the link is always in the description of my videos so um, this video sucked but give it a thumbs up if you think it sucked if you're Linux guru and you think Windows sucks stuff it up by um, Never mind. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.